learn unknown share known welcome to lusk in this video we are going to watch about a big massive motor contactor maintenance i mean starter routines and uh, this motor is having a specialty like it will run in high speed and low speed without any vfd or something so so there will be two starters in this so this is basically a three phase induction motor and this capacity of this motor is around 280 kilowatt at high speed and 132 kilowatt at low speed and basically it is a 60 hz motor normally on board we use 60 hz and rest of the details you can pass and read it and this is a lubricating oil for the shaft because this shaft is very long and pump is better away from the motor and here mccb model k circuit breaker and this is 630 amps and which is equivalent to 110 number of split ac 110 i mean 110 so you can imagine that and this is the main contactor and these are the star and delta contactors this is a high speed side and other one is low speed both are in same model and this is running in auto transformer starter and these are low speed side okay now what i am going to do is we are going to remove each and every contactor and do the routine works normally we we calculate according to running hour of the motor so how much usage is done so accordingly we will calculate and normally we are opening this i mean we are doing these routines every 6 months so this is how we open the contactor just two screws are there in each side so just unscrew it and it will come out here spring action is quite good and you can see there there is a some burning marks the those are pits so this is occurring due to latching during closing and opening there will be high temperature and because of that a slight melt will occur and uh, this will slowly slowly cause damage to the contactor and motor because if we are not cleaning this properly what will happen is what one day in future without any proper maintenance what will happen is any of the, out of three any of one contactor or two maybe when uh, when starting the motor something it will get latch and it will not come out when you are switching off so that time there is a high possibility of single facing and when single facing happens either motor will burn or contactors will burn so regular maintenance compulsory so this is how we open the bigger contactors there you can see a clip there the side so both clip i unclipped it and this is a bigger contactor it's quite heavy and it will be around 1 kg maybe and uh, so specification you can pass and read it right and uh, here also you can see this is a main contactor of high speed side and you can see lots of burn marks these are pits so we have to unscrew everything and clean it properly see i am pushing the contactor with my hand and this spring tension is quite heavy and this is a coil supply for this contactor a1 a2 and um, how to unscrew is there there are allen bolts inside you can see there will be six allen bolts so one by one we have to unscrew it and you can easily remove that one right like this i'm just unscrewing it so i can't able to post full video because i'm carrying a camera in one hand and i'm working on one hand so try to understand so just we are unscrewing this one and taking out everything all six i taken out already and you can see the markings of the burned one so here one by one i will use a soft emery paper with electric contact cleaner and i will clean it each and every contactor i will do the same as this okay so after that cleaning we have to box it back as usual it is very simple and easy no need to be nervous to do this work just isolate the power supply that's it and make sure no one is going to switch on please do proper lockout and tackout so none of them will switch it on and now we go 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 to the motor side here i removed the motor terminal box you can see there are 
more connections i will say how high and low speed are how how high and low speed connections are given i'll say in later in some other videos here i'm going to do the terminals checks i mean the tightness with the torque wrench according to manual how much nm i will check with the torque wrench and i will do the mega test so as everyone know mega test will be done first i will connect one in the earth side and the ground and other other end also in ground to check the meter is working in proper condition or not so i'm going to check the meter first it should show zero short yeah it's showing zero now ground and face so normally a proper mega should be done for more than 10 minutes so for the time being i'm going to show each and every unit very fast manner so now it is showing around 1200 mega ohms which is good above 5 is good so here it's 1500 mega ohms so the motor condition is very good so that's it only contractor maintenance motor terminal tightness and mega test that's it the video is